MMA, you don't play MMA, you, you know, it's your life. It's interesting, too, that Ali, you know, I always like to watch that fight with um, Jerry Quarry because it was after three years off. Yeah, man. And you see his body looks different. Yeah. He just looks softer. You know, if you see Ali versus, like, Cleveland Williams, yeah. and then you see Ali three years later, after all that time off, he just doesn't look the same. He, he was never really the same again. He wasn't. But you, when you think about why he did it, imagine having the, the Constitution to, to give away the prime of your fighting career to yeah. not do that. Yeah. It's very special. Because they man. wanted him to fight in the Vietnam War. He's like, this is a bullshit this war. This is bullshit. None of them ever called, he said, none of them ever called me the damn word. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not going over there to yeah. do that. They took three, it's prime. Yeah. Yep. You know you got that window as a fighter, man. Yeah. It's like four to six years. And, and, he, and half of it was taken. It's kind of amazing, too, that they did that. And then they gave it back to him. They let him fight again. Well, I don't know what was the circumstances. Like, how did they reinstate his boxing? Lessons? I actually don't remember. I don't know either. But I remember when he fought Frazier, I was like, man, I would have loved to see this fight three years ago. Yeah, man. Because he just was a different guy by yeah. then. He was way too flat-footed. It just was a different guy. Yeah. I, like, well, the Joe, cause Joe, Joe and Ali hated each other for real. For real. Yeah, because yeah. he was, you know, Ali was saying horrible shit. Horrible shit. <laughs> horrible shit. Well, he's trying to fuck with his head, and that's it how worked, you do it. It worked, yeah. man. He was the original shit talker, man. Yeah. When you think about it, it's like you, you, you see Connor, and you're like, that's Ali. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? For and, sure. You know, there's a lot and, of it. And like Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. Ali and Ric Flair, <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's a little bit of both of them there, too. Well, you remember when Henry Cooper knocked down Ali? Uh, that was like the biggest thing in the UK ever. Hurt him bad. Yeah. And then Anto uh, Angelo Dundee cut the gloves. Yep. I mean, if it wasn't for that move, Ali could have lost by stoppage in Absolutely. that fight. Very Absolutely. Very easily. Absolutely. He got fucking cracked, cracked in that fight. Right on the fucking button. And sat down. He was like, on Queer Street. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, he had a house on Queer Street. He was picking <laughs> up the mail. Here it is, right here. <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Let's watch that again. Watch that again. Ooh. I mean, that is a fucking picture-perfect left hand. I mean, look at him. Right he, on the button. He is staggering back to his corner. And it happened, luckily for him, at the very end of the round. Oh, this was in, if He that wasn't even Muhammad the... Ali back then, right? This was Cassius Clay. Correct. So this is before he fought. Was it before he fought Sonny Liston? I want to say it was. It was. Yeah. Ooh, man. Who knows? They cheated him, though. Yeah, they did. They cheated him. It's a different world. Oh, we got to change gloves. They gave him a long ass time. Oh, we got to un undo these laces. Cut yeah. this. Cut this tape. Brilliant though. Yeah. Well, Brilliant. hey, Angelo Dundee. He wasn't a newcomer. No, he was not. He knew what the fuck he was doing. He was great, man. Yeah. yeah. My favorite stoppage of all Ali's fights is Cleveland Big Cat Williams, because he hit him with these just welterweight combinations. Oh, his bing, 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 bing. He did it. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. I mean, he was throw. It, it really. I never saw anyone throw combinations at a heavyweight like that before. He threw combinations like Ray Robinson. And the yeah. fluidity of yeah. them, too. Just Pull that fight up. This is, uh, it was one of my all-time favorite because Williams was a scary fucking dude, too. He was a big puncher, and Ali was just light oh, on his dancing, feet, dancing in front of him. to the body. No one does that anymore. Yeah, and, and Williams just kept pressing forward. Pressing forward. Well, Lee, Williams was a big puncher, man. Yeah, he could crack. He just couldn't find Ali, and Ali was so loose in front of him. I mean, look at that. Oh, Jab to the body, body hook to the hook head. to the head. Beautiful. He's the dancing shuffle. on him. Yeah, boom. Check left hook, move around. And then once once he started tuning him up. The and jab to the landing. body and then back up yeah. top is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh man, yeah. This I mean, is art. This is art, right? It's here, art man. because there was never a heavyweight that moved like this. People have to realize this just didn't exist, man, and rarely does exist. The only guy who moves even remotely like this today is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can move. He can, and that he's big huge. That motherfucker yeah. can dance. Yeah, he can. He, he can. dances, and he's six foot, what, nine or eight or some six, shit? Six, eight, I think. He's huge. Yeah. He gets clipped a little too much for me. He definitely gets tagged. Yeah. He got he got tagged by uh, Steve Cunningham from Philly and dropped. That's the cruiserweight, right? Yes, yeah. which was even crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yo, his chin might not be all there. Well, you know what? Cunningham's a shorter guy, and sometimes for those really tall fighters, it's very difficult to punch down. That's how Mike was getting over, because yeah. he was in the chest. And he was real low. Yeah, I mean, Mike that head get, movement yeah. and the, and the, and the peekaboo mm -hmm. that, you know, the Customato developed. Pull the, put the end of that fight up so I could see the, the, the combinations that, that led to the stoppage. 
See, once once he had Williams in trouble, go big screen. I mean, even there, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Like, once Williams' face had been jabbed off. And, Joe, the craziest thing, beautiful, the craziest thing about him is everyone historically has to sit down on their punches to get yeah. leverage on him, and he didn't. Yeah. He's dancing and yeah. bam, 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 bam. And it, well, well, he wasn't trying to knock you out with every punch. He was just cracking you. Oh, pop, yeah. pop, 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 pop. And when you're getting peppered, that's yep. fucking yeah. rough to deal with. Yeah. Man. Rough yeah. to deal with. It's frustrating. Because you're in your head, you're like, if I touch this motherfucker, yeah. I'm going to hurt him, but you can't touch him. And you just keep getting peppered. And yeah. then eventually your legs start wobbling it's a like little bit. It's like trying to fight Willie Pep. Yeah. You know, he was like, he had the. You know, the footwork of, of Willie Pep in a heavyweight. It's yeah. un fucking heard of, man. That's another guy that people forgot about. Willie Pep was one of the rare guys that won around without, without throwing, a, throwing punch. a punch. Yes, yes. Like, what the fuck, man? Yep, unbelievable. And a Dago. Yes. Yes. Indeed. We had a yeah. lot of good ones back in the day. Not, <laughs> maybe not so much now, Joseph. But for, <laughs> well, the, you know. We had a run. We had Lamada. We had, yeah. you know, Graziano. Graziano. Well, the community got established. That's yeah. the problem. People yeah. start doing well. Yeah, exactly. And then they get soft. And, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The last guy we had was Arturo Gatti. The, yeah. To really rap. Yeah. To really rap. And, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's That's how it goes, though, right? The early immigrants are the ones that get shit on. Yep. They're the ones who come up strong. Yep. They're, they're tough fighters. And then, you know, now it's... Cubans and Russians, yep. and, yeah, yeah, because you come from that Ru that Russian amateur program, mm -hmm. man. Like, there's no fucking joke. 